Hey, what's up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today we're gonna to be doing a review of a couple moving heads from our good friends at Sheds. That's right, our good friends at Sheds hooked us up with a great deal and these lights are a great deal and I think you're gonna like them. We have a pair of moving heads. They're 160 watt, three in one beam wash spot. Is that right? Beam wash spot. It's a DMX fixture. I have one behind me, one in the box. I'm gonna open it up, show you some of the features and how it works and hopefully you enjoy it. This product comes in at under 400 bucks and it is a sweet deal. This channel is pretty much dedicated to finding inexpensive gear for mobile DJs, bands, and even that home disco enthusiast or somebody that just likes to have a cool, chilling house party. So let's get into it. Okay, we got this 160 watt LED moving head spot beam wash, three in one from our friends at Sheds right here in the box. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing opened up. See how it comes right here in the box. Woo. All right, first thing we find when we get in the box is the manual right here. We have a number of pages. Um, manuals are funny because they're not printed quite right, but that's all good. And this will give us all the information we need. It is DMX controllable. It does have some auto programs and a sound active mode as well. And we'll set that up in a minute and show you how that all works. But in the box, we have our DMX cable, probably six foot. We have our power con connection for the unit, the power cable, safety cable. If you're gonna hang this sucker upside down, mounting brackets. So we have our mounting brackets um, with our Allen wrench screws. There are two per light, there are two. We'll tell you how much it weighs in a minute. All right. Oh, so in the box, uh, you'll see it in the styrofoam here. And how to get it out is another question. How do you, you know, I think we're gonna flip the box upside down, which may or may not be a good idea. That's what we'll do anyway. Oh yes. Oh yes, nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Don't drop them. Okay, we're good. There we go. So, as you can see, we have the unit right here. Looking good. Uh-huh. There we go. I'm going to take the plastic off. Here you have the 160 watt. 160 watt moving head beam wash spot. There you have your connectors right there in the back. You have your DMX in, your DMX out, your power con jumper. So you have an in and an out, so you can power right from it with more. And then on the front, you have your display. We have a 540 degree pan, 190 degree tilt. So as far as the tilt goes, um, you'll see on the totem that we don't get a whole lot of direct down so if you're right on a dance floor, you might have some issues, but if you're a totem, totem user like I am, um, but you'll be kind of surprised with the prism, which has a six facet prism that you can do pretty well. So you do have a um, two, two gobo wheels. You have a prism, you have a prism that can spin. You have a frost filter. You have a linear zoom of 10 to 20 degrees, which is kind of cool. Um, you can focus everything up. And this light comes in at just under 20 pounds, and it has a price tag of under $400. Yes, less than $400. And we're going to show you, run you through the menu in just a minute after we get it plugged on in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and power her on right here, or him, or they or them. I don't So you can see we are starting up. It is going through its configuration. It's testing itself out, making sure it's good to go. I believe it is still going through it. As you can see from this sensor right here, it's got a little, uh, uh, you know, it's got a, uh, a bar. Yeah, you know. All right, so there you go. We're, we're now in it and we have Chinese writing. There we go. So we have it reset to English. Um, you have it set to channel 001, which is DMX. And what we can do is we can go down here so MANU is your manual, 
selections, you can go through and pretty much change everything you want. If you want to do something uh, stagnant, a still, still part of a night somewhere, you can manually dial it in everywhere from your pan and your tilts. The pan, your tilt, etc. So if you just want to set up a scene and leave it, you can do that. Um, you can go through all that. That is your manual operation. Now you have your run mode. So if you want it in DMX, set your channel. It's an 18 channel fixture. Then you have your system. And in your system, it tells you everything that's going on with the light, how many hours you have on it, um, if there's any errors, etc. Date, time, even though the date and time seem to be incorrect and I can't do anything about that, but that's okay. Um, and then you have your advanced. I don't know anything about that. I need a password, so let's get out of that. And what else do we have here? We can flip the display. And we got our run mode. So we're going to change that to auto. Give that a thing, and then you're going to see this is just going to do its own thing in auto. You will have strobe, and it will be fully, you know, it'll be going everywhere around the room. I'll show you that when I flip it to the, um, the other thing. We have a random setting which just does its own thing as well. Auto random. <laughs> then you have your sound active, which is working. We're gonna do that over there too with the other linen totem and some fog or some haze. Um, you can put it in sound and you can change. You do have, where is it? Sound regulator. So you do have, there's the fan kicks in when it's needed. So again, I'm going to turn this unit off in a second. All right, so you might have noticed the fan sounds a little loud, um, and it, it might be a little loud, but in a big room, um, not in a basement like this with uh, you know lower than eight foot ceilings and the walls not more than 10 feet apart right here and the hardwood floor, well, hard laminate floor, whatever, but it's very noisy. It's a very noisy space. So I have a lavalier on as well, and it's very close to the light, and that makes it sound loud. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up um, with the other light, give you some haze, show you what it looks like, because it is pretty awesome. I said frickin'. So let's do it. This is gonna be great for mobile DJs. It is, it's good because for one, it is less than 20 pounds, which is great. Um, they're not very big. They are LED, so they're they're efficient, uh, they're bright. They have a lot of possibilities between the gobos, the frost filter, and the, um, the prism. So you get a lot out of them. You can't point them down too much. Like I said, 190 degree barely points down, but you might be able to tell, I don't know if you can tell from the video or not, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they sit around, right now that head's around six feet high and it will hit the floor at about 15 feet away. Uh, if you wanna run it in auto or sound active, I don't think this is the right light for you, um, just because it'll be much better suited for those things if they're above the dance floor pointing straight down. Otherwise, they point up a lot, they strobe a lot, and they're gonna go 360. And they come to rest. So we got a break in the music. I paused it and back on. And then on the beat, they should go. All right, there you have it. Sound active works all right. All right, so you can see right there as we do have Gobo Shake. So Gobo Shake is cool. Um, and I didn't realize it right away until I went back to it. So they're on a different wall. 
Um, you can obviously have the gobo wheels and you can do some split colors. Um, they're all pretty determined. They are what they are. You can't change them. Um, then you're, there you're seeing the prism and the gobo shake together. There you're seeing the spot at about 30 feet. And so that is probably a three or four foot circle at 30 feet, which is cool. You're flying through the colors. You see the split colors and obviously the split colors in smoke um, look really, really cool with some haze in the room. Um, you don't see the black line. You just see it really, it's really cool. Um, and you'll see that in the video as well. So you do have the gobos, which I put up on the screen in the beginning. fly through the gobo wheels, adjust colors. You do have the gobos that you can rotate and change the speeds on. It's a different gobo wheel. fly through those as well, rotate them left or right. And then you can kind of stack the gobos, which is kind of like a gobo morphing kind of thing. Um, and when you change the focus between the two, you get some kind of weird different things and you can see how wide it'll get when you're unfocusing and, and going between them. <clears throat> Again, this is about 30 feet away. There is with the um, the prism. That, that's what the prism opened up, and then you can see there's kind of all blurred out because you can focus it. Uh, but it gets really wide, which is cool. And then you've got a lot of different colors and a lot of different gobos, which will look nice dancing around the room or up on the ceiling of the room or on the back wall of the room as well. with the frost filter so you can see the nice big soft light um, there's no real harsh shadows with that which is cool and then you can see that I'm focusing it in take that filter off and you'll start to see the ring and then you can tighten up the beam which I'll do here tighten up the beam Chris there you go and that's the full zoom and this is what it looks like zoomed in as the beam through haze Pretty, 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 pretty. Thanks for checking out this video, guys, on the Sheds 3 in 160 watt LED. These things are pretty amazing at 379 bucks. $379, you have the 10 to 20 degree zoom, you have the frost filter, you have the prism, you have rotating gobos, regular gobos, mixed colors, as you see back here, $300. $79. Link is below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, guys. If not, whatever. Maybe you like the next one. But these are pretty awesome. Only drawback is the fans. Maybe a little loud. Hard to tell until I get them out. But the um, 190 degree barely tilts down. But if you're 10 feet off the floor or so, 10, 15 feet from the center of the floor, uh, between the prism and the zoom and the frost effects, you're going to have a good light show. And um, it's awesome. So check them out. Once again, guys, my name's Chris. See you soon.